believe is true? Is there anything that you know you can't be wrong about, or like something you have like a lot of confidence in? I'm like, the wrong guy for that. Ah, I'm the wrong. You might guy be the best guy to talk to then. About everything. Because I am. Anyway, sir. Hey, can you help me out? Can you have a five minute chat with me? I know that sounds random. I can do it. Thank you, man. <laughs> that was like the best thing. I've been working on ways to like get people to have a five minute chat. I think I should just be straightforward like that. It helps out a lot. Anyway, um, my whole thing is. So that guy's over there, he's yelling at people, kind of, and I'm really more about, like, I'm not trying to sell tickets to any church or any concert or anything like that. I want to know what you you think is true, and I want to show that you can have, like, a really nice dialogue with anyone about anything. Like, yeah. that's my whole deal. Okay. Uh, let me reset. I'm Ty, by the way. Hunter. Hunter? Nice, nice to meet you, Hunter. Ooh, I don't know how that happened. Anyway, five-minute timer. Uh, normally the funnest talks that we have are about things that you strongly believe is true. Is there anything that you know you can't be wrong about? Or like something you have like a lot of confidence in? I'm like, the wrong guy for that. Ah, I'm the wrong You might guy. be the best guy to talk to then. About everything. Because I am in that position right now. Like my whole thing is, I don't know, is probably one of the best answers you can give. Mm -hmm. When you never have, when you don't have conclusive evidence, I don't know is always the best answer. That's my perspective. But um, do you have like a supernatural belief? Like karma? Reincarnation? Do you believe in a god? Do you like spiritual? Or like, do you think Iron Man is the best Iron Man movie? Anything like that. <laughs> I don't know that I would say I have any supernatural belief. Mm -hmm. I grew up Christian. I mm -hmm. uh, grew up Christian with a lot of questions about the faith. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a pretty um, conservative Christian church. So growing up in that, I mean, I just had a lot of questions about things that didn't really make sense to me. What are some of the questions that didn't make sense? So um, I grew up back. Southern Baptist and uh, core belief is that <laughs> a core belief would be that anyone who is not who does not directly profess their faith and is saved by God yeah. is damned to hell. Yeah. And so I mean from like sixth grade I saw what I believe to be some flaws in that system with their the concept of there being an all-loving and ever-forgiving God mm. that is omnipotent and omniscient mm. and allowing his creation to exist on an earth where based on where you're born basically you go to heaven or hell right so that was a uh, that was probably my main thing that led me away from uh, my denomination in particular okay I would say that um, just kind of existentialism led me away from religion in general. Whoa, I never heard that before. Like the idea that you would die or that your life is limited is what got you out of religion? Um, Typically that pushes people into it. No, or did I, I get that right? The, maybe I'm using existentialism in a different, maybe I have a different context for it or I'm just using it in Please. the wrong way. But um, what I mean was the fact that believing in something where there is no irrefutable evidence like of God of whatever I mean there's I believe there's something to be said like it's admirable that people would, would believe in something without seeing it mm. in their own eyes mm. but to me it just the question of what religion you follow mm. is so closely related to the question of where you were like what social setting you were born into mm. that I could I don't think I'll ever be able to fully believe in any faith. Let's take it to the complete flip side. So on the extreme, on one extreme end, you have people who are like absolutely confident that a God exists. Mm -hmm. But you also have on a completely other extreme end, people who not only lack a belief, but also claim that no God exists. Right. What about those people? Um, I don't really... What would you say I would to say they're said, obviously opposite ends of a spectrum. Yeah. I would say that there's not a lot of difference between them. Is that the opposite end of the spectrum? It's like almost its own. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's not even like. Full loop, but. It's, yeah, it's, it's like a you spectrum in a way. Because he's not even saying, like, you believe in a God, you don't believe in a God. But, and then there's a completely different spectrum. It's like, I believe that there is no God. And right. then there's people who don't believe that either. And then there's just the spectrum of, I believe I am right and I don't know. And yes. so I think anyone on the end of the spectrum that I believe that I am right, mm -hmm. I I wouldn't say that I look down on those people or that I think less of them, they're but I really think scary. they're a little confused, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Because, I mean, knowing that the only things we can know are things that were taught. Like, no person was born with a religion. No right. person was born praising God. Sure, so sure. 
anything that you've been taught in whatever community, whether you grow up in like a very strict Pentecostal or even like Amish setting, mm. you believe what you're taught to believe. Mm. And I think that more important, I think that the self doubt is very important in the entire scheme of things, mm. more so than like what God you claim or whatever. Mm. Um, I would say, yeah, like in the religion question, what I am sure of, what I am most sure of is that maybe not self-doubt, but self, ugh. I'll say self-doubt because I can't come up with a better word, self-doubt. but the fact that you question not wholly believing that you have a firm truth is the most important thing. Can I try rephrasing that then? So yeah. always be open to... Open-mindedness is the open-minded. most important. Open-mindedness right. is the most important. Open. What if, and this probably goes back to open-mindedness, but I'm just going to ask the question, what if one of those religions was right? Like one of the world, some guy in Aztec temple I think if has a talking totem wooden statue and that is God that created the universe. Like how... If they're right. Yeah. Um... I think I've thought about this a lot. If in the event that someone with an exclusionary view mm. in terms of salvation, in terms of whether you go to heaven or hell, yes. is right, I don't think I would want to go to heaven. I don't think I would want to be in the grace of a God that punishes people based on things that aren't in their control. You may not necessarily worship, but would you believe it's true at that point? At what, the point that I'm in heaven? No, when they can demonstrate to you that they're... They're, to a criteria of your satisfaction that what they're saying is true. You may not necessarily worship, but would you at least be open to the, the admittance of, okay, maybe you were right about that, I think it would but depend, I'm not going to worship that guy. I think it would depend a lot. That would, if in the to my own extent, if someone proves to me, if God opens up the sky yes. and some huge miracle happens, and I, in my own belief, know for sure mm-hmm. in my own head that whatever this mm-hmm. God exists, in the event that it's still this God or whatever, yeah. and there's still people being damned to hell based on factors that they are not in control of, based yes. on their environment or where they've grown up. I wouldn't worship that God. But you would. I would accept that it was real. If, ah. I mean, if that's what I believe. Okay. If some, I don't know what it would take for me because I mean, you say what if they're right, but yeah. what if they show you some irrefutable evidence? And atheists have been showing irrefutable evidence for. I mean, if you're going to say what if they show evidence then I feel like the easiest thing to do is to just go to atheists Mm -hmm. who have this long line of evidence for why everything they believe is true. Because it's based in, if not science, then materialism. What does an atheist believe is true? Um, A lack of supernatural. A lack of supernatural presence. Disagree? Is that what an atheist is? Someone that doesn't Is it not? What is what would what is an atheist? The, someone that's not a theist. Someone that's not a theist. Okay, so what is someone who believes and I'm working this solely out, in the material world? Oh, a realist. Who? Yeah, a realist. So I would say replace atheist before with realist. Who has okay. all of their evidence stacked up with them? They I can see. put an argument behind any point that they want to bring up. Mm. I wouldn't still say that I wholly believe that person to be right. Okay. Because in any, no matter what evidence you put, as long as some other person so strongly believes in something, I'm going to give myself some amount of healthy doubt. Nice. Before I entirely discount You're another wel- person's opinion. You're welcome. That's pretty good. Thank, Thank you, Hunter. I thought about it a lot. <laughs> Good Keep it up. That was that's really good. And Who's I, inviting Kuda to chat here? I am uh, inviting anyone to have a quick five minute chat with me. And that was a little chat over five about. minutes. Sorry about that. Yeah, don't worry. About but, just to chat about. And you don't say about whatever, whatever you want. want. I didn't yeah. that part. Yet. Hey, you right. want to sit down and have a chat sure. about whatever you want? <laughs> I would love to discuss whatever See I want. It. I'm Ty, by the way. Nice there. to meet you. Huh? Nice to meet you. Get in there. That is not your handshake, America. Sure. All right. Let me uh, reset the camera real quick.